Hey guys, Hermit here. Today I want to talk to you about this case. It's called the Craftrite Safe Case that um, I discovered through a friend of mine online on a Facebook group. His name is Greg. Thanks, Greg, for sharing this great idea. Uh, you can actually buy these cases in uh, in Bunnings, a uh, local hardware store in Australia. And um, yeah, this is a very inexpensive way to securely and safely carry all your gear or store it and lock it away. Um, at home if, if you want to. Um, again, I I didn't know about this. I didn't know about this case until uh, I saw a post from Greg um, where he posted that uh, he got this and it's a great alternative to the more expensive Pelican cases. If you're not a professional and uh, more a hobbyist, enthusiast, um, this is perfect for you because uh, you know it only costs about 50 odd dollars as opposed to spending hundreds of dollars on the very expensive Pelican cases. Now, let me show you how you set up and use one of these cases. It's uh, very quick and easy. Um, so let's get started. I'll show you that very quickly. The first thing you want to do is arrange your gear and uh, get a feel for how you want to organize it within the case. So I've got two cameras, so I'm going to put two bodies there and a lens behind it. So that should fit just right. I'll grab another lens that I've got next to that. And my uh, 50 to 140 lens can just fit right here two, three, four, another lens here, and then some spare space. Now I'm gonna just take some of these little squares out to give enough space for the camera to fit. Keep checking, you don't wanna to take too many out. So I'll just check that, take a few more out see if it fits quite nicely and then that's it I think this is good so just repeat again for the second camera which is an XD3 but I'm filming with that right now so just gonna take out the same pattern of foam so I can fit another XT body in there Let's check. Yep, snug. All right, with this lens, I'm just gonna push it down to get an idea of what I need to pull out. And that should do it. There we go, that fits nicely. Do the same with the other lens. Pull the foam out. All right. This is a big one, so just need to mark and get an idea of what I need to remove. Let's get these out. Check again, do it in small sections obviously. Don't wanna overdo it and then have to uh, find a way to stick the foam back because it's all kind of uh, stuck together and once you remove it, can't really set it back into its place. It'll be too free to move, so almost there. Now it should fit. There we go. So there it is. The molded foam cut out with all my gear set. Let's take a complete look with all the cameras and lenses in it. That's it. The X-T3 fits nicely, even with the uh, base plate or the tripod plate. All right guys, thanks very much for watching this video. If you made it this far, thumbs up, pat yourself on the back. 
Um, hope you liked this video. Hope you found it useful. Give it a thumbs up. And once again, Greg, thanks for sharing this great idea that I can then further share with the community. So have a great day, guys. I'll see you very soon with another video. Bye-bye.